Hey, hi all. Um, I've come on here again today to share a dream that I had. Um, it would have been about a month ago now. Um, I've been waiting on the Lord and the Holy Spirit to guide me as to when to release these dreams on here and to add anything else and revelation that um, the Holy Spirit gives to me with regard to the dreams that I'm receiving. Um, so that's what I'm here today to do. And I just want to thank again everyone that has subscribed um, to this channel. I, I don't call it my channel. Um, this is for our Lord Jesus Christ. And I'm just obedient to him and I share um, everything that um, he guides me and his Holy Spirit guides me to share. And so that's what I'm here to do today. So this dream that I had, I was a nurse and I was working in a mental health hospital um, a young girl was brought in and she was wearing um, pyjamas and she was she was young, um, teenage years, maybe 17, 18. And the pyjamas that she was wearing were really, you know, like we, we all do. We still have things with cartoons maybe on them. And so they were really kind of childlike pyjamas that she had on. And she came in and she was she was wild. She was... Um, screaming and kicking out and she was really uncontrollable by um, all of the staff there couldn't control her. I I spoke up and I said to everyone it's okay I, I actually do know what's wrong with this with this young girl um, she's demon possessed and with that I went forward to cast out the demon out of her but through her the demon spoke to me and said, you do not know your authority yet. And then that was it. Nothing more said. And the demon then went and hid inside this girl. And so the girl, this this was said, but it wasn't said out loud. It was only said to me. And so the girl stopped acting out and she became like normal. And so everyone thought that whatever I had done, that I had saved this girl, but I hadn't because I knew the truth. The truth was that she was still demon possessed and um, and the demon was telling me, you know, you don't know your authority yet and just went to hide. So so we know anyway from, um, from the spiritual warfare that this is what demons do and they do hide in people. Um, but this this was a, a warning message. I thought it was going to just be for me, but the Holy Spirit wants me to share this with everyone and a warning to all of us to step now into our roles um, as end time warriors, because we are going to be up against spiritual warfare like this earth has never witnessed. And this is spoken about in the end times. So we are now to come in to our full knowledge and our full authority of who we are in our Lord Jesus Christ. And so this is what I'm here just to share um, the revelation that was also given to me with regards to this dream. So I was um, guided to Matthew 4. So Matthew 4 is when Jesus has received the spirit after getting baptised and is led into the wilderness. Um, and then he was tempted there by Satan. Every time he was tempted, he always used scripture, always used the word to um, has, has, has a defence and to, to come back to Satan with a scripture. And didn't get into conversations with him, didn't um, do anything that was outside of what the word said and what the word was. It was always a scripture that he gave. And so this is a lesson for us in these end times, that when the devil comes at us or demons come at us, that we are to fight it with the word. We are to fight it with scriptures alone. And they will flee from us because the word is truth. And our Lord Jesus Christ is the word. He is the word. And this scripture in particular 
when he answered after Satan tempted him with the stones that they be made bread. Um, but he answered, Jesus answered, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds out of the mouth of God. And so this again is just highlighting again to us that we need to be in the word daily so we know the scriptures so we've got them written in our hearts and so we can combat the lies of the demons the lies of satan and this is what we are to do we are to exchange lies into truth and we are to combat all the wiles of the devil all the wiles of satan and his demons in the demonic realm with scriptures that's how we are to fight this this is what our authority is and so we need to be reading the word daily get this in to our hearts get this into our minds it's the renewing of our minds it's the renewing of our hearts and so we can come back with these scriptures and so the other lesson was um, that i was shown was matthew 17 21 um, how be it, this kind goes not out, but by prayer and fasting. So this was the story of the young boy um, that the disciples could not cast a demon out of him. And so the father brought the boy then to, to Jesus's feet to, to get the demon cast out. And, and he did, obviously, he, he, he did that. But then the disciples came to Jesus later on to ask um, why could we not cast out? Now, at the time, they he also Jesus also said, but it's because of your unbelief. So again, we need to have faith. We need to have faith in the power of God. Um, but the other important lesson, which isn't in all, it's actually been taken out of some Bibles, just so you know. Um, but this is in the KJV, and it's still there, and it's still a line that that says. Um, that you are to pray and fast. And again, I've, I've already done a video on praying and fasting, how important that is. I'm not, I'm not saying that as Christians we are possessed, but we, but we can be oppressed. And so by praying and fasting ourselves, we, um, we remain strong in the spirit. And so it's, that's why it's vitally important that we pray and fast. Um, and then we can pray for others as well. Because whilst we're praying for others and we're praying and fasting, we are strong in the spirit. Just to end with the, the praying and fasting part of this, um, that it is also a spiritual warfare weapon for us that we need to be using. And we need to be using regularly, especially now in these end times. And so that brings me on then to put on your armour daily. Now, I don't know how many... Um, people or new Christians would be watching this and certainly um, Christians that have read the Bible and, and have been around maybe a few more years, a few more years than me, probably know this very well. But um, me as a new Christian, I was, I was new to this and I'm still new to this. And so I will just read out Ephesians 6, 10 to 20. And so finally, my brethren, be strong in the Lord, in the Lord, that's that's most important. And in the power of his might, again, God's power. Put on the whole armour of God that you may be able to stand against the wiles of the devil. So again, it is, it's all about being in Christ, being with God. For we wrestle not against flesh and blood, but against principalities, against powers against the rulers of the darkness of this world, against spiritual wickedness in high places. Wherefore, take unto you the whole armour of God, that you may be able to withstand in the evil day, and having done all, to stand. Stand, therefore, having your loins girt about with truth, and having on the breastplate of righteousness. And again, our Lord Jesus Christ is the truth, is the truth, the way and the life. And so... And the breastplate of righteousness, it's his righteousness. You know, that's his, we're putting on his armour, it's him. We're in Christ, this is his armour. And your feet shod with the preparation of the gospel of peace. 
And to, to, to actually shod your feet is not just to put on some shoes, it's actually to have them fitted, um, and to, to have them fitted. So we are to be in our word daily, so we are prepared. We're prepared in our hearts that wherever we go, we have the gospel of peace. We have the peace coming and manifesting out of us, for we are ambassadors for our Lord Jesus Christ. And so to read the word daily is also to prepare our hearts to be able to share the gospel with people that we meet. And so, above all, taking the shield of faith, wherewith you will be able to quench all the fiery darts of the wicked. And again, if if you lack any faith at any time, it's the faith of our Lord Jesus Christ in us. And so we look to him, we look to him, we pray to him, please, please pray and increase my faith today, increase my belief, remove all unbelief from me. And so we keep back these fiery darts of the devil, and we take every thought captive. And with that, take on the helmet of salvation, the helmet of salvation, we're putting on a helmet, so we are having our minds renewed and we know that we are saved because we believe in our Lord Jesus Christ who died for us on that cross but then was risen three days later and he lives he's our living God and in him we trust so we put on that helmet of salvation and we wash clean with his blood and we repent and turn to God and the sword of the spirit which is the word of God now the sword of the spirit that is for a defensive but it's also an offensive and with that it is also a double-edged sword that convicts us as well so the sword of the spirit is defensive against the wiles of the devil but it can be used offensively when needed um, pray about it at all times uh, to know what we are to use in that moment but we have it on our hearts and it's a double-edged sword as well that convicts us the sword of the spirit which is the word, which is the word of God, our daily bread. I'll just continue praying always with all prayer and supplication in the spirit and watching thereunto with all perseverance and supplication for all saints. And for me, that utterance may be given unto me, that I may open my mouth boldly to make known the mystery of the gospel, for which I am an ambassador in bonds that therein I may speak boldly as I ought to speak. And so again, the spiritual warfare in, in these end times, we are to be ambassadors of light and love. And we need to be in our word daily. That That's the most important spiritual warfare um, lesson that you can have. Get in your word, know your word, know the scriptures, know how to fight off the enemy and get in and step into our authority, which our Lord Jesus Christ has given us. Now, that's it for today. Um, the last thing that the um, the Holy Spirit did just say was, I will tell you the rest. I will tell you the rest. So I take that as there will be more to come with regards to this and to us all now um, that have been Pointed, uh, is that the right word, uh, as end time warriors in this end time that we are to now be rising up and in stepping into our authority and what we need to be doing um, in these end times. OK, thank you and have a good day, everybody. Thank you very much for watching.